ECHO TV is a co-production of Minnesota's Emergency, Community, and Health Outreach Collaborative of Health, Safety, Emergency Preparedness, Ethnic and Nonprofit Agencies, and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Hello and welcome to ECHO Emergency Community Health Outreach, a show about health, safety and emergency preparedness. This is a special edition of ECHO talking about measles today, sharing with you a very, very special story uh, about Mahi Abdullahi, a young child who was went back to Africa this summer with his mother and uh, came back only ill. His mother, Nuria Kato, is here with us today to tell us that special story. And this show would be only Brad webcasting on our uh, webpage, echominnesota.org. I want to welcome you to our show, Nuria, and thank you for taking the time to be with us. You're welcome. And also sitting right next to um, Nuria is Chris Arminson of uh, Minnesota Department of Health. She's the Director of Infection um, C Disease Control. Thank you so much. You. Um, Nuria, let me start with um, asking you, when did you first realize that your child uh, was ill? I understand you went back to Kenya this summer, um, and then when you came back, your child was ill. When did you first realize that? After one day. Mm -hmm. He was having a high fever. Mm -hmm. Like, give him Tylenol. It's not working. I make an appointment the next day. I saw the doctor. And then that's why they say we we have to take him to the children's hospital. We we'll see. Okay. So what happened to the child while he was in the hospital? Still, the fever was on and off. They tried to give him Tylenol as much as they can. They did everything, blood work, everything they could. But still, uh, within 10 days, and then that evening, Sunday night, he was coughing, and they take extra. Mm -hmm. And they find, they find out that he have a pneumonia, and then after that, uh, they want to know what's bringing pneumonia, and then they say, oh, you have a measles. I understand that this was a very, very horrific experience. What was the most frightening for you about your baby's illness in, in the time of the hospital? What was the most scary thing for you? The most scary part was like, uh, he wasn't able to breathe and it was in a tubing machine. I mean, I'm gonna jump in right into you, Chris. Um, tell us what measles are. Sure. Um, the reason that I think a lot of people aren't familiar with measles is because thankfully it's a disease that um, has been controlled by vaccination so we don't see as many cases of measles now as we used to um, many years ago. But what measles looks like is it's a rash illness so most people are familiar with the rash illness part but um, what we just heard about is this disease actually has what's called a prodrome or some early symptoms that that come before the rash comes. So you can have fever, cough, um, runny nose, watery eyes, all of those things. And then a rash will start. It usually starts on the forehead and um, goes down to the rest of the body. And measles can be a very serious illness. And pneumonia, which is what you described, can be a complication. Um, you can have other serious complications from measles. And that's why um, we're very encouraging for people to take the vaccine, the, the MMR vaccine that can protect against measles, just because it can be very serious. And as you said, mm -hmm. it's very scary to see your child um, mm -hmm. in, in that position. So before you travel to Africa, did you visit a doctor? Did, uh, I understand normally when people are traveling, they take travel uh, vaccines uh, and do uh, a visit to the doctor. Did you do that? Before? Yeah, I did, mm -hmm. but he wasn't due to his his age mm -hmm. by then and then I decided normally I give it to my kids my mm -hmm. other ones three of my daughters so for him mm -hmm. I wanted 
I decided to give him when he's one years old. Mm -hmm. So the day we arrive here is mm -hmm. the day we arrive was his birthday. Mm -hmm. So, so it wasn't due. Um, but your other children were vaccinated before they yes, went, they and that's why they didn't get sick when they came back. Yes, okay. they vaccinated when they're one years old. Uh, Chris, what what uh, other parents that are watching us are to do in a situation like this, where their kids are not old enough to have the vaccines, but they want to travel? Should they hold off on traveling and not um, leave the country, or I mean, what are the recommendations here? Well, um, there's a couple of options, and one of the reasons that we're so appreciative that Naria is willing to tell her story is because it's a very common um, thing for parents to be aware of when the measles vaccine is um, recommended. And you're absolutely right, it's recommended between 12 and 15 months of age normally. What a lot of parents don't realize is that you can receive the vaccine early if you're traveling internationally. So if a child is six months of age and the fa your family is planning to go um, back home to visit, they could receive the vaccine early. And then once they reach the normal age, you know, the 12 to 15 months, then they could be revaccinated. Mm -hmm. But that's something that many parents don't know about. And because they don't know about it, they can't take advantage of that. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, Nuria, what I, I, again, um, I, I cannot be in your shoes or try to experience what you want to experience, but what do you want to tell other parents that are out there who might be thinking of traveling overseas? What, do you, what message do you want to get to them um, about your experience? I want to tell them that uh, you, they don't have to travel around. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law, too, she brought her daughter to come and visit me, mm -hmm. and the same thing happened to her. She was in the hospital while I was in the hospital too. Mm -hmm. So it was very hard for both families to be in the hospital. And it's the hardest part any mother could experience. I believe that a lot of mothers would really want to know. Um, not, any, not every mother, I'm assuming, would want to see her baby in a hospital laying down and you know have all these uh, machines running. They want their little children happy running around. Yes, so, so vaccination is really important because you're right. Y your son developed measles because he acquired it when you were traveling to Kenya, but for your niece, she was just exposed to him here in Minnesota by visiting. So um, that just points out that yes, if you're traveling internationally, if you're going to Europe or Asia or the Philippines or Africa, those are all countries where we're seeing measles, but even if you don't travel, if you have friends or family members that are traveling, it's important to make sure your kids have protection. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, thank you so much again, Nuria and um, Chris, for both uh, being able to, for Nuria, for being able to share this story with you and Chris, for Wayne. And um, again, my name is Zuhur, and this is a special edition of Echo, talking about the measles disease and the outbreak this summer. Uh, you can uh, find the show on our website at www.echominnesota.org. ECHO TV is a co-production of Minnesota's Emergency, Community, and Health Outreach Collaborative of Health, Safety, Emergency Preparedness, Ethnic and Nonprofit Agencies, and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Mm -hmm.